Hello everyone, this is Suja. Thank you for joining me today on my Space Court Farts um, podcast. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, my interpretation and reading of the Space Court Farts entity from Cliff High's reports from 2016. Um, and yeah, I keep telling you, things are going to get super weird, guys. Super duper weird. So again, I think I say this on every one of these videos, but I, I am under the impression that all, 90% of all of the stuff that Cliff High has said in his reports are going to come true at some time. His his events are accurate, his timing, not so much. <laughs> so, and he himself admits it and he's like, yeah, timing is a snitch, you know, it's a female dog, it's, it's what it is. Um, so yeah, anyway, so let's see what's gonna be heading down our way. Um, so I think he was four years off. So when you see 2016 and 2017, immediately think 2020 this year and then 20, uh, 2021 next year. All right, so much more language about time travel. We're gonna go with uh, pink on this one. Becoming a discussed in near real terms item by the media or ma mainstream media prostitutes. The data is also indicating that the time accidents forecast in the previous Alta report are likely to have happened by the end of 2020, such that in early 2021, or 2021, yeah, a scare about a runaway time accident that will be viewed as threatening in some manner over a wide region. There are many new uh, supporting sets for this runaway time accident meme, which, uh, and slash linguistics, which indicate that it is not any that have been forecast by our reports. That's interesting. Rather the, rather, the data would suggest that some level of our time accidents eat cafe crowd at lunch scenario happens, then public becomes slowly aware by the many oddities that something related to time technology and an accident had occurred. Okay, that's interesting. So they slash we become aware of this as a past incident. Okay, time is wonky, guys. Then in the course of early 2021, something new with many of the same base linguistics will surface suddenly and the time accident language shows up very rapidly with high emotive sums and in quantity, all of which indicate that a big story at the prostitute media level will be in our faces in early 2021. And it will involve a threat to a large region of the planet. Okay. I wonder if there's like a geographic location area I wonder if this is going down in like Antarctica. That would be pretty cool. Judging from this, my my perception, uh, my presumption rather, is it'll be near um, near populated areas, a densely populated area. But anyways, that's just my thought. It's probably not going to be that, but you know, that's what I think right now. All right. The data sets are suggesting that the threat will be perceived as a as real and present danger, such that migrations and containment areas are going to be within the language that shows up early next year. Oh, so it's a serious thing. Damn. Okay. How do we contain this time accident ripples? How would you okay? How would you clean up time ripples? Like that's a whole other thing. That's something Cliff needs to talk about. <laughs> like. My idea of time is so not anywhere near close to what Cliff is. And it's like, I haven't deeply or even clearly thought about it at all. So the fact that time accidents can occur and is gonna occur and we become aware of the fact that it has occurred or had occurred, you know, that leaves me to think, okay, well, how would you, how would you go about cleaning up that mess? Like what, what kind of technology is involved in that? Okay. so. Space Code Fast Entity is showing that the metadata layer of secrets revealed. We're gonna do. I'm gonna go back to yellow. Is coming to the foreground of public attention over 2020 this year and growing thereafter. The data sets are suggesting that serious thought by the powers that be will be given to the idea of disclosure of alien presence as an antidote to the spreading economic downward spiral. Oh, look at that. You know, CCP is causing a what? Economic downward spiral. And what did the US military release? Oh, those UFO videos. Hmm. I wonder why. Hmm. I wonder who could have guessed this. <coughs> Cliff High. All right. Other sets are suggesting that perhaps government and officialdom will not be in charge of the contact meme as it comes into daily thought. Interesting. <laughs> I can see like 
Trump being like, well, the states are in charge of the UFOs and, and, and all that. The federal government will not give you any funding <laughs> for, for UFO-related um, investigations or something like that. Just kidding. All right. The data sets for UFOs have growth in sets that suggest that the, a new form of UFO will be visible over 2016 and thereafter. The descriptor sets have some language about a near organic form. Oh. Let me, I'm going to put that as green because organic, and I associate that with green, uh, that will be, that will hover about and be seen to be observing human activities. Dude, that's going to be creepy AF. Like, seriously, if there's a thing that's hovering and looking at your activities, what if you're like in the shower or something? <laughs> what if you're on the in the bathroom and it's just like it just comes and it watches you? I would love to know if this is actually like it's watching public like in public places where you're walking and, and doing like regular activities or if it's in your house. Like that's something I want to know because I would be freaked the hell out if it was in my house. <laughs> like, geez, I already have privacy concerns over the internet. I don't need another privacy uh, pain point here. All right, that the new, all right, so human activities, that the new form of UFOs has shown up uh, now is indicated to be point of fear that will be leaked out from some public statements by officialdom. All right. So official dumb people are going to freak the hell out. Obviously, because <laughs> they freak out about everything. God, these people have no chill. Oh, by the way, if you work for the official dumb, I'm just joking. I don't wanna really mean it. A lot of you do have chill and you just want to clock in and get your cash and move out and do your thing. But a lot, a lot of these so-called leaders have no chill. They just freak out about everything. The world is always falling apart uh, near them, so... It's a, it's a weird thing to be a politician slash officialdom. All right. Longer term data is filling a number of sets that have the next four years being the time when ET connection comes out to daily mainstream consensus language. Now that is cool. That's going to be radical. That will lead to some serious changes. These sets are not directly related to the new UFO form sets. That's interesting. Okay. But do have parallel growth rates as model spaces move forward over 2000, 2020. Again, remember, timing is a snitch. Uh, and snitches get stitches. I'm not sure how that relates, but I wanted to say it. Um, <laughs> timing gets stitches. I'm not sure what, I was, what point I was trying to make. There are many cross links from the UFO and ET sets over to the economic destruction sets. Hey, uh, CCP virus is going around destroying the economy and supply chains. When you start seeing more of this, remember Cliff High predicted it in 2016, time stamped and everything. Um, so, you know, there's that. Uh, all right, economic destruction sets that are showing as the economic infrastructure degrades. I would I would um, presume the infrastructure is the supply chains and, and all of that. And many of the walls of security will be left un unfunded and as a result, shit happens. <laughs> this is Cliff's sly way of saying, at least my interpretation is sly way of saying, hey, look, because of the funding uh, issues, a lot, of the, a lot of the things that have been hidden from you, the people that are in their hidey holes, yeah, they're going to come out and they're going to like, at least this is how I'm tripping it. They're, they're gonna they're gonna talk talk to you about the reality of of things of UFOs of the actuality of of life rather than the garbage viewpoint that you're fed every day through your mainstream media and and garbage TV shows and whatnot. So yeah, and then that's it. So this one was very short. Um, so I uh, I have nothing else to say on this. I just I guess I should summarize time accidents. Um, we'll become aware that it had occurred. Another another time accident language is showing up that is not related to the first time accident language. Okay, yeah, and it'll be a threat to a large region of the on the planet. And then you know you got secret reveals metadata layer coming out where people are going to be dealing with UFOs and aliens and stuff because official dumb's going to freak the hell out and they're going to be like, "Yo, look at these alien things. What are they?" You know, and then you know officialdom will not be in charge of the contact 
or may not be in terms of the meme itself as it comes to daily thought. Uh, and by that, I mean the language. They probably couldn't, they probably won't be able to control it. You know, people will just talk about their actual experiences and, you know, it'll probably flood the internet at one point. I, by the internet, I mean probably Twitter and other social media areas. The descriptor sets, all right, and then you're going to have a new form of UFO, which is going to be an organic form. It's, it's going to be creepy AF because it's going to be hovering about and it's going to be observing human activities. Dude, it better not come into my house and, like, observe me, like, you know, goof off or something, like, you know, playing video games or whatever. Just stay away from my house. Like, get off my lawn, aliens. I've had enough of you people. <laughs> I work a lot on my lawn, and I don't want you people coming in and just ruining it. Actually, I don't have a lawn, <laughs> so I'm just making all that up because it's funny. Longer term data is filling in a number. Okay, so um, ET connection, daily common stuff, ET, 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 and of course you got the destruction, economic destructions, and the walls of security coming down. So overall, February was rather short, and I liked it. Very concise. Thanks for watching. I guess I'll have March done tomorrow. And then, yeah. Remember, guys, Cliff High predicted this. So, you know, next year or the year after when all this occurs, you know, understand Cliff High was a genius. He still is. And uh, I'm super happy that he predicted this because this is my favorite stuff to read. Like, look at this. Look at this beautiful thing here. Like, time accidents and UFOs. Like, you can't make this ish up, you know? Well, you could, but I mean... If it, if it manifests in your average reality, in the consensus reality that we're in right now, I mean, that's that's a whole other level of, of, uh, of understanding. All right. Well, I'm out. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.